Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio. Welcome to another Blender 2.7 Quick Tip Tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be learning about soft body physics in Blender. Make sure that you are in the Cycles Render and go into Orthographic View. Go ahead and delete the default cube. Add in a plane. And then just scale up the plane to make a floor. And open up your physics tab. And with your plane selected, choose collision. And you can go ahead and give the plane a material. I'm just going to make mine just a little bit of an off-white color using the hex code of E7, E4, D3. Let's go ahead and add a UV sphere and just move it up above the plane. And then just move it over to the left. Go ahead and give the UV sphere material as well. I'm just going to give mine kind of a purple color. So I'm going to use the hex code of B1509C. Go back to your physics tab and click soft body. I'll go ahead and make three duplicates of this UV sphere and then just move them to the right. Now select your first UV sphere and make sure that you have your physics tab opened up. Now soft body simulation is used for simulating soft deformable objects. It's used for simulating more general soft objects that bend, deform, and react to different forces or collision with other objects. If we go ahead and just run the simulation now, you'll see that the spheres are just essentially bouncing up and down. This is due to the soft body goal being active, which is essentially pinning the UV spheres to the space within the scene. So let's turn that off. Now if you run the simulation, we notice that the first UV sphere drops and essentially shatters or acts like cloth once it hits the plane. Now go ahead and twirl open the soft body edges section. This section allows the edges of a mesh to act like springs. We'll only be dealing with the springs option in this quick tip tutorial. The pull option determines how much the edges of the mesh are permitted to stretch. A low value means very weak springs like elastic. A high value means a strong spring like stiffer material such as hard rubber. A value of 0.5 is similar to latex. 0.9 is like a sweater and 0.999 is similar to leather. The push option determines how much the mesh resists being compressed together, like a compression spring. Low values would react similar to fabric, and high values would react similar to inflated objects or stiff material. The damp option determines the friction for the edge. High values dampen the push-pull effect. 
the plastic option determines the deformation of the mesh after a collision. The blending option determines the connections between a vertex and the connective vertices. The length option determines how much the edges shrink or blow up. And the springs option is used to specify vertex groups, which we're not going to talk about in this particular tutorial. Now for inf more information about soft body physics, please see the Blender 2.79 manual. The link is in the description. So make sure that you have the first UV sphere selected and go ahead and change the following parameters. We're going to change the pull to 0.9, the push to 0.9, the damp at 0.5, Plastic 55 and bending to 10. Now when we run the simulation, you see that the UV sphere drops and is barely dented on the bottom where it collides with the plane. Let's go ahead and hide the first UV sphere just so the simulation won't run at the same time as the others. And select your second UV sphere. Now let's change its parameters and see how it reacts. Go ahead and uncheck soft body goal. Change your pull to 0.7. Your push to 0.7. Damp is 0.3. Plastic is 30. Bending is 8. Now when we run the simulation, you notice that the, when the UV sphere drops, it's dented on the bottom when it collides with the plane a bit more than the first UV sphere that we did. Let's go ahead and hide this UV sphere and select our third UV sphere. Again, uncheck soft body goal. Leave your pull and your push at 0.5. Change your damp to 0.3. Plastic to 20 and bending to 5. Now when we run the simulation, we see that the UV sphere drops and is dented on the bottom where it collides with the plane quite a bit more than the first UV sphere, and it's also starting to collapse on itself. So let's hide this third UV sphere, select our last UV sphere, uncheck soft body goal, Let's change our pull and our push to 0.3, our damp to 0.2, plastic to 10, and bending to 2. Now when we run the simulation, we see that the UV sphere drops and is dented on the bottom where it collides with the plane, again quite a bit more than the first UV sphere and it's collapsing upon itself even more than the third UV sphere. Experiment with the soft body edges settings and discover what you can make with soft body physics in Blender. If you follow along with this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please tweet me with your creations. The link is in the description. If you have any questions or suggestions for tutorials, please leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day.